What's up, Kansas City? This is Serenity. We have today a photographer, a filmmaker, and what else do you do? Well, let's see. Photography, filmmaking, I'm a writer, director. Um, I'm doing animation now. Oh, and we'll, wow. we'll start gaming next year, so I'll be a game producer, you know, oh, Jason, creator. Jason P. Yep. yep. <laughs> and you guys might have seen him down. Sometimes he has a table on First Fridays and 18th and Vine selling right. his still photos. Um, so tell us. Fine art. Photos. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Make sure we get fine art photos. Right. Um, so tell us, um, are you from Kansas City? Uh, I'm from Kansas City, born and raised. Um, after I learned how to do photography in high school. And okay. so one of my teachers suggested it to me. And it was funny because I was like, hmm, that sounds cool. And once I started taking the classes, well, my first class that I took, it was really interesting because the stuff just came natural to me. And so it's like, okay, this is one thing that I'm supposed to do for the rest of my life. So it's like, I just continued on. Went to, I attended Lincoln University. And I had a degree. I was going to get my degree in photojournalism, mm, okay. but I switched um, when I transferred to UMKC, and it was more of a broader, broader um, field. So I went. I got my degree in communications, um, and let's see. I would say my emphasis is videography, cinematography, because that's where I have my foundation in. So it's like, um, but yeah, Lincoln University, I love it, but I didn't graduate from LU. You went? Teardrop, teardrop. But, yeah. <laughs> you went to UKC? Yeah. yeah. Okay, UKC's a good school. Yeah, yeah, I finished out it. <laughs> At the time, I don't think you, I know my Lincolnites are going to be like, why is he saying that? I ain't even going to say it then. But, <laughs> oh, okay. but it, no, it's, it, it was one of those things where it's, I just needed to, um, I was at Link University, and it was coming down to where um, I should have graduated, and things didn't work out there, so what I did was I transferred for, to UMKC and got my degree there, and so, BA, BA in communication, so. Okay. So, uh, what is the importance of setting up the story as far as not just with uh, cinematography, but with, with a photo? Yeah. How can, what is the importance of that? Well, it's the connection that the, the viewer makes. And uh, once you, once you're able to create the story, then it's like it, you kind of usher them into that whole experience, and it's like, that's basically what it is. It's like uh, creating it so it connects with the person, and they become a part of the experience. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, okay. that's yeah. Okay. So tell us, um, what is one of the most recent things you've done with photography, like big projects? Well, I had an exhibit that was um, I was a part of an exhibit at the Box Gallery. And uh, that was downtown, uh, I think it's 10,000 Walnut. And so that was um, one recently. I do currently have work that's being shown in the Changing Gallery at the Jazz Museum. Oh, okay. Yep. And also, um, there was a previous program, Jazz Speak Life, and I was actually a part of that. There's been a, actually, it's funny because I've done photography mainly in the last few exhibits, but before that, at the Changing Gallery, I had videos in the in the exhibit, so it's kind of funny. But um, but yeah, that's those are the main most recent things that I've done with photography. But I'm always producing photos. I always uh, I, I am a photographer to my heart, and so I take pictures at least. I try. It's funny because I, I work with photos each day, but I try to take photos at least four or five times a week and so okay. um, because it, it's one of those things that I, I if I don't do it I kind of feel like ah, I'm missing something I need to get I need to do something so and so I'll grab my camera go out and take some pictures like right now I'm just shooting some film and so what's the difference between crossing over between taking photos and doing video actually there's no it's really not a difference the only thing about video is there's more of a story that you give and photos are more of like a snippet of time, you know, right. uh, without, and the dialogue is in the photos. Um, right. I have a, there was a, last year I think it was, there was a brother who, who committed a crime and it, and the wife of the, the person that the crime was committed against, he, um, she was actually being interviewed and her expression on her face really kind of told the story, you know, um, and her frustration or anger. Um, her, her, you know, all the emotions that she had were, it was there. So, um, when you deal with film, it's like, okay, you get more information. And it's, I, I, 
what film is actually more controlled and guided. You know, it is more controlled and guided. Um, but you get more context from film. Okay. Yeah. So you said you're also a writer. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, are you, what do you write? You write short stories, short plays? Films. Yeah, short films, um, um, feature films, and documentaries. I, I, I used to do poetry, but I don't do oh, okay. poetry. I, it's, I want I you know I want to read yeah, some of your poetry. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> only when I have a muse when I, I you know. Oh, but it's like okay. the funny thing about it is I, there was muse like like a young lady. Yeah, or? yeah, they generally bring it out in me. Okay. But the funny thing about it is, um, I think a couple of years back I actually put something, uh, some stuff on Facebook, and I was like, oh, let me put this up, and it's like because it was a series of times where probably a young lady, I think it was, <laughs> oh, I was okay. smitten. He was sitting by yeah, yeah, Okay. So they love usually does ring yeah, the poet yeah, out of people. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but I, I try not to write them nowadays because, you know, it's, it, when you write poetry for women, it's it's just like it, I don't know. Maybe they. They. You know, <laughs> I would be sweet. They were like, I would be oh like my god. Like, you, 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 you either get yeah. that or you're like. Uh, well, I mean, that's if she's not interested. If she's not yeah. interested, then, mm -hmm. then you write poems yeah. about her. She's going to be like, uh, yeah. like, you know. Yeah, I can tell you a couple of stories. I ain't going to get into that. But I was like, oh, let me write this word. I'm like, ah. Uh. So I kind of just said, okay, no poetry for women now. <laughs> no okay. more. After she messed it up for everybody. Yeah, after this one. No more. No more. Okay. So what are some writing projects that you have going on? Well, actually, I mean, I didn't, I didn't even know that you. Well, I mean, you know, most people who are, mm -hmm. you know, videographers, they they write whatever, and, mm -hmm. and filmmakers, they write the scripts. But I didn't know you were like a general writer as well. Yeah, it's funny because um, I've always been able to create stories, and um, putting a lot of those to paper, pen to paper, and writing them down, it's like I've fallen short more recently than in the past. Yeah, especially it's, you said you write you write poetry. I was like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's what I was like <laughs> in the past. Um, but it's it's one of those things like now what I'm doing is I'm working on a documentary. Mm -hmm. And so there's dialogue that needs to be created for that documentary. And so what I have to do is I'm gonna get all this stuff together and then after that I'll create the script on top of that. But um, So it's not gonna be a documentary where you kinda let the, the, the people tell the story, you're gonna more so kinda guide them in the story. I think um, the audience needs to be guided to a, an extent. Um, okay. Not the, I mean, you know, people are, they are like true, true writers to the heart. Because <laughs> I'm like more of like, okay, I gotta write this, so let me write this. You know, like, not really, it's, it's more of an afterthought with me. And it's like, oh, I gotta write, okay, and get down. <laughs> and then it's like, <laughs> but um, it's, it's one of those things. It's, at this particular story, it's, it's not. I think I just need to guide the context, you know, and so, but, and this is a bad thing too. My father, he's a writer. He does um, stage plays, you know, stage plays. He writes short films. He uh, acts. And so it's funny because he's a much better writer than me. Cause mm -hmm. it, and I'm, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking some of his stuff and we're actually producing, you know, short films along the line from what he's written. Okay. He has, he has like 45 years on me. You know, so I'm like, as a writer, you know, there's a, you know, you, I get props to him. The man is, he's good, you know, so get props to him on his writing. He's, and he's a good man all, overall, so. Okay. Um, so as a photographer, I know you don't want to give all the tips away, but what are some tips somebody can have, like, basically to take, like, a good selfie or just a good photo with their phone? Well, personally, I would say use a real camera. Yeah. I mean, it's, so not the kid, not the phone. No, I mean, if you want to do selfies, that's that's yeah. pretty much you, that's it. Um, but if you're trying to really capture a a scene or capture an emotion with a location or with a person or with a thing, you really need a camera. You need a real camera. And then it's like there's basics that I would say. Um, and actually, I'm thinking um, about having a class just to start with the basics because a lot of people don't know, you know, what's the ISO, what does that mean, um, the shutter speed, how does that affect your your photos, your um, your aperture setting, what does that do, you know, with the depth of field and also the light, I mean the image itself. And so those basic things, you know, you need to get that done. And I suggest everybody... And it takes a practice as well. Yeah. Well, if you take... And I, I suggest a lot of people take a basic photography class because that's when you actually say, oh, oh. And then it's like you kind of understand that 
every photo isn't on the same level. And so I was just, it's funny because I was just recently looking at someone's photo and I was like, hmm, I know what they did here, I know what they did here, I know what they did here, but it's like, ah, oh, the composition, you know, mm -hmm. because people don't think about that. You know, the composition, what is the photo, what are you trying to say with the photo? What are you trying to bring to light? You know, what are you trying to, you know, have the viewer focus in on? And, and a lot of people don't understand that. It's like, okay, oh, I just went out and took these pictures, and they go in the light room, and they do, like, the venue editing, and then they do some, you know, change it to black and white. Just, it, it's more that goes into that, you know, and it's just kind of understanding. Like, if you go to my website, uh, so if you go to my website, you, I, have, I have photos up there that give you kind of a broad range of what I do, but each one deals with a specific, specific subject, you know, mm -hmm. and there's, like, um, some shots I have is like what like is your the, website? Um, if you go to littlepiggyentertainment.com, uh, that's my the straight website. And so if you want to look at uh, my fine arts photography, mm -hmm. just go to fineartsamerica.com and then type in my name Jason Piggy P I G G I E. Okay. Once you mm -hmm. go there, what um, and enter the, my name in the search engine, and it'll give you all the stuff that I have on there. Currently, I have. Um, what about if somebody wants to check out? Uh, Short film or something. Short film. Just go to littlepiggyentertainment.com uh, and then there's a um, a little film production tab and you can just go over there and, and click on it. And so, and if y'all want to get some training, just you know, just send me an email. And it's like uh, if y'all are local, uh, we can sit down and meet. You know, or if y'all out of state too, I can do a Skype or something. And it's like uh, we can go from there. Is like, there a fee for that? Uh, right now. I think it's probably going to be a nominal fee. It's worth five dollars or something. If I'm, if I'm sitting with you, because time cost, you know, <laughs> I'm, I, you know, I'm like. Yeah. But you, I mean, you'll give a little bit. You no, know? I'm gonna give you a lot. Sure, oh, I always okay. give a. I mean, the thing about me is, if you ask me a question, I give you more than you need to know. <laughs> okay. Just because you'll probably hit a hit a you know a pitfall and so. But yeah, yeah, all right. And also, I've been doing photography since. Um, 86. Oh. Yeah, okay. so. I'm, so you, you kind of dating yourself. Yeah, well, it's all right. You're okay with that? Yeah, it's all right. I mean, but it's like, <clears throat> I don't think people, and this is one thing about art and photography, and then you, you look at, like, okay, just your cousin who takes photos. The one thing about the time period that a person's been practicing a specific thing, they have a greater understanding of the shots how to pose people, how to make sure that everything is right in the scene, using light. Um, and it's funny because from the standpoint of like, okay, they'll say, well, I'm going to have little Titi actually take my picture for my wedding. And then they, say, they take the picture for the wedding and they come out like crap. <laughs> and it's like, instead of actually paying a, an actual Photogra professional pro photographer who's going to charge, and they don't, I mean, there's people who actually, you'll get some people that charge under under a thousand, like five hundred, four hundred, three hundred dollars, which is, it's if you want, you get what you pay for, you know, and so if you actually, if someone's like charging like fifteen hundred, two, three or four thousand, you can sit back and say, okay, I know I'm going to get quality to work from this person, especially in that case because the photos last forever, at least as long as you take care of it. Um, the venue. You know, somebody's going to use it tomorrow, so they can't go back and hang out there. And it was like, the food, you ate it up, so it's gone. <laughs> the cake is gone. You know, the moment's gone. But through the photos, you you know, the, the memories live on. And it's like, a situation like that, it's kind of like, okay, it's a no-brainer. Pay for the quality, you get the quality. You know? mm -hmm. Or even if you say, okay, I can't do this right now. You know, a lot of photographers are like, okay, uh, professionals, uh, you know, I put you on a paper plan. Right. You know, so. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Okay. So you're also part of the African American Artist Collective. Yeah. It's still fairly new. Yeah. So um, tell us what is your position in that collective? Well, I actually just I just am a I'm just a person that's a member. That's <laughs> okay. A, I mean, um, I'm still trying to fill out the organization, but okay. the information that they have there is really is some profound information. And, um, and it's a group of. Profound artists. Yeah, everybody just, there is good. Yeah, yeah not everybody. just photographers, right. painters, spoken word artists, mm -hmm. um, quilters. Um, so basically, it's a collective of yeah. African Americans coming together yeah. to and make a force. Let me make this mention. Okay. Poets. 
Yes. There are poets and there are writers. Yes. yes. You know, <laughs> um, I think when we say, uh, you know, the spoken word, I, Jessica Kiermore said it. She's like, when I um, they mentioned that she was a spoken word artist, she said, no, I'm an actual poet. You know, you don't say that about Edgar, you know. You well, know, there's, Alan I mean, Cole, being a... You know, being a poet myself, mm -hmm. um, there is a difference between mm -hmm. spoken word and poetry as far well, as like the voice and the poignancy of the message you're trying to spin. And also, um, there's some, I personally have some work that I would leave in a book as mm -hmm. opposed to actually yeah. performing. There's performance poetry, right? but it's still poetry. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, if you look at the, it's funny because um, I actually had an opportunity to film the um, jazz poetry program. And I actually, I, it, it was funny because I did it for like uh, you say 10 you years. You might have some footage of me back in the day. I did it for 10 years. And it was one, one thing about going through that whole process. You kind of understand what's, what poetry is yeah, and what poetry isn't. Mm -hmm. And it's like the thing about poetry. I missed out jazz poetry, too. I yeah, it yeah. Back. Well, <laughs> it was, the one thing about it is um, when I was, you learned form and, and, you know, and that was the thing. A lot of a lot of people got up and they actually did, they weren't doing form, there was freestyle poetry, mm -hmm. um, which was still poetry. And uh, it, which is funny because I still, maybe I'm a purist in a sense, but it's like spoken word is, is a new flip on like, you know, somebody putting you into a box, you know. Kinda, yeah. If you say, I'm a poet, regardless of what different format or form that you use, you're still a poet, you know. And so if you're using um, the, um, if you're using just alliterations or something, if you're using um, like, um, um, I can't think of some of the other forms, um, and I got a one in my head and I, if I say it, I know I'm going to say it wrong. But it's like just, the, if you do the different forms, it's like they don't, you're, you're broad. You know, yeah. spoken it's word is like, oh, that's that hip hop. You know, well, it's more so of you writing in free verse. You're yeah. not really, no, it's not really structured writing. Yeah. But it's still poetry. Yeah, it's still yeah. poetry. And it's still but I'm saying that most spoken word artists write in free verse. They don't yeah. write in structures and sonnets and and haikus and things go. like that. They just they just they none. just write and then it yeah. has a flow and, yeah. and, a, and a kind of a, yeah. a rhythm to it. Yeah. But as um, a, a true poet, you can also do structure writing. Yeah, because that was the funny thing, because I was just, I, as many, and I had like hours and hours of um, footage, and I, I, I couldn't see a difference between um, the actual um, poetry as being poetry, and then it's like slam poetry, and then yeah, it's also... More performance. It's, Based. I, and you know the funny thing about it is I don't know why I can't see I can't put it into a box like that because everything is if you say it out loud it's performance you know mm -hmm. yeah and it's like it's just I that's just me I'm a I'm a purist in a sense with the poetry because I, I so I, you're saying it's, I saw it's so a, much of it so. you're saying having a collective of artists with not just painters photographers mm -hmm. but also having the spoken word well, and the, and the no, poets no. and I mean the, poets I'm just saying it's a, it makes it a broad group of artists yeah. and so it's a powerful Cause, collective because it's more like if and this is one thing I did not realize until more recently when I actually became self-employed the whole thing about African Americans or minorities getting paid less mm -hmm. for their their actual artwork versus like you know, you know, Caucasian Americans, which I didn't, I, I couldn't fathom that. I thought we were in a whole different time. Right. You know, I thought that was, I thought that was like back in the 40s or 30s. It's, but the stuff is still going on now. Right. And so it's like, if someone was, was to come and say, okay, what type of photographer are you? What happens is this, and, and it, it's the pigeonholing thing, mm -hmm. because they say, okay, she's spoken word. She's not a real poet. Right. But she's a poet. She does spoken word, or, you know, it's like photographer. Oh, what do you do specifically? With? No, I do everything, you know, because I'm a, I'm a photographer. You know, so I do fine arts photography. I do wedding photography. I do um, event photography. I do... Um, so you're not you just know. a... You said also about you don't want to just be classified as a black photographer. Yeah, because if, if, if I say I'm a photographer, what happens is this is what should happen. Um, they say, okay, you're a photographer. Let me see your work. Let's roll with it. Mm -hmm. um, if 
in certain circles now, granted, they do use their people, you know. But it's like, I, I don't want to be separated. Because my work, when we look at, like, say, for instance, um, if you look at my work, I just have a broad stroke of, like, things. And I, I take pictures of what I want to take pictures of. I don't really, I'll take pictures of black things. I'll take pictures of white, you know, quote, unquote. Because nothing's really black and white. Mm -hmm. They're just images. You know, right. they're just things. You know, we make the connections. But, um, you know, I just, I when you speak of me, you know, I, I want people to say, well, he's a photographer, director, writer, producer, he does animation, he does, um, he's a martial artist, he, he, you know, what else does he do? He, he reads regularly. I don't know. <laughs> just, you know, okay. just, you know, I don't want to be, he's just a, he's just a renaissance guy or something. I don't know. Something, I just do a lot of stuff. And so I don't want, you know, they be like, well, I, don't know, I just don't want to be pigeonholed. Because I think, no, I don't want that's it. That's it. That's it. Well, I know you also mentioned something about the inclusion of the money as far as like in the African American yeah. community, arts community. Now, this is one thing I did. Um, so I, I became self employed earlier this year. And it was interesting because um, there was a position or a job that I was working at. And it's like, um, should I say that? Y'all know who it is. Uh, well, don't, don't, don't incriminate yourself. I incriminate myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's funny because, uh, okay, say the question again because you're going to do a cut right here. Okay. Gonna, she's going <laughs> to cut that. All okay. right. So the, the, it wasn't really a question. It was more so uh, speaking about African-American economic inclusion as an artist. Okay. There is a, a difference from, from what white people are paid versus black and I mean in the arts you can see that as clearly and I didn't realize that um, initially um, when I actually I quit my I actually became self-employed earlier this year and it was kind of interesting because getting work was I and I, I'm doing fine but it's like it just seems to me that it's like people are not really willing to pay African Americans their worth mm -hmm. and so and it's like my rates are my worth so I'm not really trying to you know it's we're dealing with my skill level how much time I've actually done it so I've done photography for it's it will be 30 years wow. August so it's like from that standpoint I've been doing it long enough to understand there are certain things that you don't do and you do do um, there's, there's certain techniques that you use and you don't use. It's like there's a lot of little things about, you know, being in a, in a craft that long. Right. And you actually elevate yourself in the understanding of it, you know. And so that's the one thing. It, it's really funny. It, it, I even hear about this on a, on a you know, a national scale because I'm going to throw Tyler Perry out there. He's got money. So it's like I've heard that he doesn't pay people to scale. But... He does give them work, which is fine, but it's like, why not pay them what they're worth? And because he's going to turn around, or and I don't know if he does this, but a lot of people are going to turn around and, you know, production companies, they'll turn around and pay white, you know, actors their their actual scale. And it's funny because it seems like in the arts, that's a, that's a broad stroke. I mean, that's everywhere, you know, all Broadway plays are pretty plays it's like really these people are actually poor. I mean they're they're giving the audience a part of themselves so a part of their self so it's like they should be paid equally but that's you know it's America you know and we got Trump and it's like <laughs> which well. I might as well go out and say my spiel because it's like I'm really disappointed in white people <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, but, not all not all of them you know what it's but. and I was sitting back thinking about it I was I was doing my laundry and I was like man do I want to profile white people and I'm like I don't want to profile white people because it's like they they help they actually helped elect President Obama because I mean we have a we have a portion of the yeah, you know the top of yeah the so it's like but it's so they actually put uh, President Obama in there but then yeah, they we put black people alone yeah, we don't have enough people yeah. to do it yeah and then it's like they put someone who 
he's a pathological, and I'm saying it because it, it might gonna come back him. Uh, but if you look at the actual, you saying it. Yeah, I'm saying this. I'm saying this because if you look back on I'm like, the I'm process, an interview, but no, you, you saying it. If you look back at the 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 process of them becoming, you know, the, and when they were on the stump, you know, uh -huh. Trump lied so much. Hillary yeah. lied. Hillary lied too. Yes. And her stuff was like right there every time. But Trump um, lied so much. It's like, really? Yeah, I, I, that's why when somebody said something about, um, I saw this online, said, well, she's alive, she's this and that. I'm like, um. Trump does so the same thing, you know? Trump has and not it's, it's, told falsehoods. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just he's like loose, and he's a loose gun. He just says stuff that comes out. And, and, and it's funny how the media, and this is funny because I actually did get my degree in communications. And so I have a base in, in photojournalism because that's what I was uh, taking when I was at Lincoln University. But it's funny because how the media is saying, okay, well, let's give him a chance. Let's see what he's going to do. You, you, a, man's, a man's word speaks of his actions. Right. Everything that he does, you can see, you know, through his actions and his words. He's going to do everything that he did, you know, and on the on the when he was, you know, trying to get elected, and so I'm like, it's but it's funny, Karen. It's funny to see how the media is really kind of saying, okay, but well, we want to give him a chance. We want to see what he's going to do. If I said all the stuff that he said, <laughs> they would chew me apart and spit me out. Right. But for some odd reason, he's actually getting a pass on that, which is really funny. So how would somebody hit you up if they wanted to talk politics? Photography, movies, all of Smart that. Smart said politics. I don't want to hear. <laughs> but if if um, if you want to check out my um, photography and video production work, go to littlepiggyentertainment.com. And also, uh, if you want to see about purchasing some of my fine art photography, you can go to fineartsamerica.com. And then in the search engine, type my name, Jason Piggy. And then what it will do, it will bring up the art that I have for sale on there. Um, but yeah, again, politics. <laughs> yeah, I can save it because I'm just. I mean, well, you it, said you said your piece in here. And yeah, good. I said my piece, okay. and it's like that. we're just gonna. I'm just here to watch this show. I have no control. I actually didn't vote for either one. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, what? That's another yeah, conversation. That's another we'll conversation. <laughs> it, it, it's another conversation because I. Right. I'm not a mindless automaton. I think outside of the box, but okay. yeah. So um, I'd say I'm supporting you. All but, right. but beyond that, yeah. Just if y'all want to, and then also the littlepiggyentertainment.com. Littlepiggyentertainment.com, little right. and also I will um, be rolling out some type of instructional classes. You know, there'll be a nominal fee, probably five dollars initially starting off. You know, so you come and sit with me. We talk about photography from the you know from the basic to advanced stuff. And so that's going to be coming. Um, I'll, I'll put some information on my Facebook. Also, if you um, if you want to be a part of my Facebook, I'll probably have to link you up. But just send me an email. Um, uh, when you go to my website, click on the contact us and just send me an email. And then what I'll do is I'll hook you up, and, and you know that way we can you can see more stuff on the the, um, the Facebook page. But I'm gonna start dealing with some real basic stuff because people. People think, I mean, if you pick up a camera, you take a picture, they think they're photographers. And right. it's not the case. It's more than that. It's more, more than, that. It's more right. than that. Well, thank you for coming All in. All right, thanks for coming. Thanks for <laughs> letting me expound. <laughs> yeah, letting you speak freely. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm Serena, you write you your piece. And, of course, when you invest in your community, you really just invest in yourself. Make sure you check out what's up, KansasCity.net. Bikini Pro Cat Williams, and when I'm not working out in the gym, I'm searching the web on Cascade Media and What's Up Kansas City. So make sure you check them out.